Hi there, it's Davdas, Senior Product Expert. And today, we will be talking about a great addition to the dashboards feature, dynamic date filtering. Now, previously, you were able to select only the specific dates on which you were able to filter your dashboards. Now, with the dynamic date filtering, you'll be able to choose not just specific dates, but before, after, and so many other options. Well, let's take a look at this game publishing example, where we have our games in different publishing stages with some timeline setup. And we have a publishing dashboard here at the bottom with two widgets showcasing specific information. Dynamic date filtering works great with road mapping. If we have the same backlog turned into a roadmap and see our games currently being worked on in different stages. If we go to example here on the right, or the time remaining on those games in different stages and also roadmaps, we simply again select the filter. And this time let's choose timeline and take a look at the options available for timeline filtering. Now they're a bit different. Here you can choose also the range from range is, starts, ends. If there actually are no timeline set up on the cards, or if it's not empty, choose this one. And then the second option of how can we actually customize the information. Now let's actually choose here current. And I want to take a look at the current month that we have right here and see what is the situation in the roadmap and time remaining for currently that month. Now we can see the dashboard has automatically updated and we can see how many cards and what are their statuses currently for the upcoming month and how much time is it left of work. Now this next example is for quality assurance team, working on different types of bugs and also trying to resolve all of that. A great addition to all of it is of course, quality assurance dashboard. For example, here on the left, we have our priority and how many cards we currently have on it. Let's choose another filtering option. And what I would like to see is how many cards have been created in the last two weeks. And I want to see what are actually the priorities of those cards. Save. And we actually have no cards currently available according to that filtering. Let's go in here back and do some changes and do current week. And we can see the amount of cards and their priority for this current week that they've been created. On the right, we have the statuses of all the bucks. And also here, we'll choose the option to add a filter for timeline. And what I would like to see here is probably some bucks that have been appearing or what are their statuses after some sort of a release or fix that has been applied. So let's choose range starts after a specific date. And here we can see how many bugs we have and their stages after a specific date of choice. Might have been a fix, might have been a change in the system, but we can actually then track what bugs came out after that specific date. Now you can also include multiple filters that will follow the end rule and showcase results that fit the both filter options. Now you can also choose to filter the whole dashboard, applying those dynamic date filters for all the charts and widgets on your dashboards. And that was it about the newest addition to the dashboards, the dynamic date filtering. Hope this was helpful, and as always, enjoy using Favro.